The city of Providence, Rhode Island has a love affair with authors. If you walk the historic Benefit Street, you'll come across a granite Greek Revival building from 1838. Inside this Providence Athenaeum, there are 175,000 volumes of books. You'll also find paintings, busts, an abundance of natural light that spills from the skylights, and a wealth of literary history. If you squint your eyes and use your imagination, you'll be transported back in time to the days when the Athenaeum played host to H.P. Lovecraft and Edgar Allan Poe. Here is where Edgar Allan Poe spent many hours wandering the stacks and courting Sarah Helen Whitman, a wealthy Rhode Island widow. Like Poe, Whitman was an author. This was what ultimately brought the pair together. She wrote a poem to Poe referencing his work, The Raven, and he, in turn, composed several poems for her. Poe proposed to Whitman in a nearby cemetery and they became engaged. What should have been a time of happiness was not. Poe was a frequent drinker, and Sarah's mother did not approve of the relationship. Sarah felt so pressured to break off the engagement that she wrote to Poe, telling him just that. But Poe was relentless with his letters, and he expressed his love, and he also promised sobriety. So, they stayed together and they wandered the stacks, whiling away the hours. During one of their visits, while they were tucked into one of these alcoves, Sarah told Poe of a recently published anonymous poem that she admired. Poe pulled the volume containing the poem from the shelf, turned to the poem, and signed the bottom of the page in pencil, announcing that he himself was the author. It was also here that two days before their wedding, Sarah found out that Poe had not kept his word. Sarah found herself the recipient of a note stating that Poe had been seen drinking quite recently. The wedding was called off and the two would never see each other again. Death would find Poe within a year. The book containing Poe's signature was in circulation at the Athenaeum for 20 years. While I was there, I couldn't help but imagine that somewhere here, there might be a book still in circulation that contained a signature from Whitman, Poe, or perhaps Lovecraft.